welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as detection of cyberbullying on social media using machine learning which is an IEEE 2021 conference paper in this project we are going to use data from two different forms of cyberbullying. The first one is hate speech tweets from Twitter and the second one is commands based on personal attacks from Wikipedia forum. So these two data sets we are taken from Kaggle and the methodology is we are going to upload the data set, make the data pre-processing, feature extraction and classification of it. So for the hate speech Twitter hate speech on Twitter, we are going to use the SVM algorithm or model and the accuracy score is 96 percentage. And for the Wikipedia personal attacks, we are going to use the random forest classifier algorithm or model and the accuracy is around 71.6 percentage. Now let us see the execution of the project. So go to the command prompt, go to the source code location, type python app.py, now you can copy this URL go to your browser paste it and now you can see the welcome screen or home screen of the project with the project title detection of cyberbullying on social media using machine learning and here you can see the both the data type that is first one is like twitter hate speech detection and wikipedia personal attacks detection so first let me go to the twitter hate speech detection so First, let me log in with the default username password as admin and admin because we have not used any database here. So this is a static login form with the default username and password. And once the login is successful, it will be navigating to the upload part. So in the upload part, click the browse button and go to the source code location. So where you can see Twitter hate.csv file. So this is the data set that we are going to train up the system to for the detection of the hate speech on Twitter data set and click upload. And once the data set has been uploaded, it will be navigated to the preview part where you can preview the uploaded data set. So the data set consists of the features of ID, label and also the tweet that is made. And once if you scroll down till the end of the page, you can see the complete data set. So which consists around 6,935 data set records and now click the button click to train or test. Now once the training is finished you can see this message training finished and click OK and now it will be navigated to the prediction part. So in this prediction part you can test with the test data so you can just go to the project folder where you can see the test data folder where you can see the twitter hate test data just open it so for the scenario let me show you with uh, both the cases that is offensive and non-offensive case you can check with other cases also from the data set that we are trained up with so let me post this content now and click predict and now you can see the prediction is non-offensive and the other case let me post this content and then click predict and now you can see the prediction result is offensive so in such way you can also check with the other data that we have trained up with for the scenario I have shown you with the both the cases offensive and the non-offensive case and navigate to the next part that is the performance analysis of this 
part that is precision and the recall in the performance analysis you can see the precision and the recall value and the confusion matrix of it and the final is the chart part so this is the chart part of the hate speech on twitter this is a default chart because this is not a dynamic one this is a static chart only as we have not used any database we cannot show any variations on it so this chart data has been plotted according to the data set that we have trained up with so this consists around 60 percentage of offensive and 40 percentage of non-offensive tweets and let me log out from this first part and the second thing is the wikipedia personal attack detection so just click this wikipedia personal attack so as the same that we did for the twitter part here the wikipedia also will be using the same default username and password and click login and then now need to upload the data set so just go to the source code location where you can see wikipedia attacks.csv file and click upload and once the data has, has been uploaded you can preview the data set here and if you scroll down till the end of the page you can see the complete data set which consists around 1445 and now click the button click to try not test and once the training is finished you can see the message training finished and click ok and now it will be navigated to the prediction part of the wikipedia personal attack detection so now again go to the test data folder where you can see wikipedia attacks test data so where you can see the commands and the attacks of it so as the scenario i'll be showing with both the personal attack and non-personal attack you can also check with other cases from the data that we have trained up with so let me go ahead with the first command of this and click predict and now you can see the prediction is non-personal attack and let us go to this and click predict and now you can see the prediction is personal attack on it so for the scenario i have shown with both the cases you can check with the other data also and now let me go to the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part you can see the precision and recall value on this wikipedia attacks and you can see the confusion matrix of it and let me go to the chart part so in this chart part you can see a static pie chart which consists around 60 percentage of personal attack and 40 percentage of non-personal attack so these data is being plotted from the data set that we have trained up with and let me log out from the second part also and this is all about the project detection of cyberbullying on social media using machine learning and thank you for watching